the last relationship for me was getting married. I don't think it was love, but I got married for the wrong reasons. I was a certain age and I just thought, okay, he seemed to be nice. He wooed me with, you know, flowers, cars, seemed like he was going to be like the perfect guy for me. I missed the red flags. I ignored red flags. Um, he had some type of issue of addiction, but I wasn't quite sure what that addiction was. I mean, I would say a few weeks before the wedding, I was going to call the wedding off. But because of shame and paying for stuff and already and people already had paid for things, I didn't call off this wedding. But I was a Christian. I'm a Christian. And I believe that marriage, you stay married. So I decided to try to make it work for like five years. I stay in that abusive relationship. He was uh, he was using alcohol, cocaine, pills, whatever he could. So I never knew what I was dealing with when he came home. So that's like scary because it's like, okay, is he going to be, am I going to be up all night? Is he going to torture me, gaslight me and say that um, he's not high, but he is? Or is he going to fight me? So it was driving me insane. Um, I was a hostage in the house because I was never out. I mean, he had he had locks to everything, everything. Bars on the windows, locked. Basement door locked. Heater locked. Back door locked. So I was locked in. I was actually for five years, I would say, he went everywhere with me if I went out the house. He called for a few. He punched me in the face during a, uh, abruptly at my son's high school graduation. We were at the graduation. I went with my son to uh, pick up his diploma. And when I did that, I never thought it was agitating him. So I'm texting on my phone, thinking everything's good, letting everybody know he's graduated. And while I'm sitting on the sofa, I go upstairs because he's just so annoyed because he can't get in my phone. That's what that's what he did on a regular basis, go on my phone. So, you know, when the newer phones came out, you know, they got, you could lock the phone. Oh, oh, my God. That was like a trigger for him. Oh, it was the worst. So... I'm upstairs, and he just hauled off and punches me in the face. I said, oh, my God, like, okay, today is the day I had enough. Today is the day. So I called my son. I said, listen, let's go down to get a restraining order because I cannot, I cannot do this anymore. My husband, I could hear him say, oh, I got to do this. That's what he was saying, you know, like that. Okay, so I'm sitting there. I'm waiting for my son to come to the door. But he meets my son at the corner, and then, he punches my son, and then my son decided that he was going to teach him a lesson, and he did. He beat my ex-husband outside with a bat. Um, it was very disturbing, and I didn't know what to do. I thought my son was going to go to jail for life, and he became the victim. My son warned him some time ago when I had a black eye that I didn't know they had this conversation. But he said, I warned him not to put his hands on you anymore, because I never told my son he was doing this. You know, the people that lived with me was my daughter, and she was still in high school, and so was my other son. He was still in high school at that point. That was what graduation. So I didn't want him to get involved because I knew what type of man my ex-husband was. He would end up getting my son arrested. So I didn't want him to be fighting with him, right? It was always me I would jeopardize. Now, I didn't want to jeopardize anybody else. So when my son did this, it was like, oh, my God, like, what am I going to do? So... At that time, while he's in the hospital, I'm trying to move out of the house. So I did leave for a short time. We stayed in a house that was not like a normal house that I would want my daughter to be in for her graduation and prime time. And I was just so depressed and saddened that this was ruining things for her. She said she didn't care, but I cared. So in order for the case to get dropped and for him to stop doing everything, I decided to go back. But I did not want him locking me in the house anymore. 